Welcome back, everybody. Good to have you back. This is part two of examination questions and their solutions. Examination questions on integration and their solutions. Let's go straight to it. The next one is evaluate the integral of 2x cubed minus 5x to the power 4 dx minus 5x to the power 4 dx. What we do here is, what we do here is expand 2x cubed minus 5x to the power 4. And that's going to give us 16x to the power 12 minus 160x to the power 10 plus 600x to the power 8 minus 1000 x to the power 6 minus 1000 x to the power 6 plus 625 x to the power 4 that space doesn't seem to take it conveniently okay that's better plus 6x, 625x to the power 4 dx. And when we integrate, we have 16 over 13. We have 16x raised to the power 13 over 13 minus 160x to the power 11 over 11 plus 600x to the power 9 over 9 minus 1000 x is power 7 over 7 plus 625 x is power 5 over 5 plus the constant of integration c plus c and that's the same as 6 over 13 x is power 13 minus 160 over 11 x is power 11 plus 600 over 9 x to the power 9 minus 1000 over 7 x to the power 7 plus 125 x to the power 5 plus c now to the next evaluate the integral of e raised to the power 2x sine 3x dx the technique the appropriate technique here is integration by parts so let me call this let me call this u and e raised part 2x dx dv so that means that's the same as uv which is sine 3x multiplied by v which is the integral of e raised power 2x and that's e raised power 2x over 2 minus the integral of v which is e raised to power 2x over 2 du which is the derivative of sine 3x and that's 3 cos 3x 3 cos 3x dx and then we move on this is the same as 1 over 2 i want to write this way this way 1 over 2 e raised to power 2x sine 3x minus 3 over 2 minus 3 over 2 multiplied by the integral of e raised to power 2x e raised to power 2x cos 3x cos 3x dx and that's the same as what do we have now this is the same as 1 over 2 e raised to power 2x sine 3x minus 3 over 2 multiplied by this is another integral this is another product that can be integrated by the integ integration by parts technique so this is u and dv is e raised to the 2x dx. There we go again. Minus 3 over 2 times 
uv which means cos 3x multiplied by the derivative of the integral of v uv which means cos 3x multiplied by the integral of e raised power 2x which is e raised power 2x over 2 minus the integral of v which is e raised to the power 2x over 2 v du and that minus 3 sine 3x dx and the next line is going to be 1 over 2 e raised to the power 2x sine 3x minus 3 over 2 uh, minus 3 over 2 times 1 over 2 e raised to power 2x cos 3x minus this is going to be plus 3 over 2 multiplied by the integral of e raised to power 2x sine 3x e raised to power 2x sine 3x dx and now we can open the bracket then we have 1 over 2 e raised to power 2x 1 over 2 e raised to power 2x sine 3x minus what do we have here minus 3 over 4 minus 3 over 4 e raised to power 2x cos 3x minus 9 over 4 multiplied by the integral of e raised to power 2x sine 3x dx now i can see that i can see that okay yeah, so let's just go to the next. That means the integral of e raised to the power 2x sine 3x dx, which is already on the left hand side, e raised to the power 2x sine 3x dx plus, if I bring this one to the left hand side, that's going to be plus. 9 over 4 multiplied by the integral of e raised to the power 2x sine 3x dx and that's equal to 1 over 2 e raised to the power 2x sine 3x minus 3 over 4 e raised to the power 2x cos 3x and that simply means one plus <coughs> uh, that simply means that simply means 13 over 4 multiplied by the integral of e raised to the power 2x sine 3x dx is equal to 1 over 2 e raised to the power 2x that's common to the two terms on the right hand side so i want to write it this way I want to write them this way. That's 1 over 2 raised to the power 2x sine sine 3x minus what's it going to be? Minus 3 over 2 minus 3 over 2 cos 3x and finally minus 3 over 2 cos 3x okay and finally the integral of e raised power 2x sine 3x dx is the same as 4 over 13 if you divide the right hand side by 13 over 4 of course you're going to have 4 over 13 times 1 over 2 e raised to the power 2x sine multiplied by sine 3x minus 3 over 2 cos 3x and then you can put the constant of integration c 
and this simply means two over no this simply means yeah two over thirteen e raised power two x multiplied by sine three x minus three over two cos three x cos three x three x plus c and we can simplify this further to have 1 over 13 e raised to the power 2x times 2 sine 3x minus 2 sine 3x 2 sine 3x minus minus 3 cos minus 3 cos 3x plus c and that's the final answer and then we move on what's in what are we taking next let's take this evaluate the integral of x e raised to power minus x dx Integration by parts is also the technique that's appropriate here. Let's call this u and this dv. So that means uv, which is x multiplied by the integral of e raised to the power minus x, which is minus which is minus e raised to the power minus x, minus the integral of v, which is minus e raised to the power minus x du, which is dx. And this gives us minus x e raised to the power minus x plus the integral of e raised to the power minus x dx. And that's the same as minus x e raised to the power minus x uh, plus minus e raised to the power minus x plus c. And that means minus, that's equal to minus x e raised to the power minus x minus e raised to the power minus x plus c now to the next evaluate the integral of evaluate the integral of x squared x squared sine x x squared sine x dx this is the same as you can see here we can make u x squared and sine x dx dv and that's equal to uv which is x squared multiplied by the integral of sine x which is cos which is minus cos x minus the integral of v which is minus cos x multiplied by du which is times 2x dx and that's the same as minus x squared cos x plus 2 multiplied by the integral of x cos x dx and that's the same as minus x squared cos x plus 2 times this is another integration by part we make this u and this dv so that means x multiplied by minus sine x no x multiplied by the integral of cos x which is sine x minus the integral of minus the integral of v du which is sine x the derivative of u is going to be du is dx and then we move on that's the same as minus x squared cos x plus 2x sine x minus 2 multiplied by the integral of sine x dx which is the same as minus x squared cos x plus 2x 
2x sin x minus minus 2 into minus cos x plus c and finally we have minus x squared cos x plus 2x sin x plus 2 2 cos x plus c 2 cos x plus c and that's it to the next we have evaluate the integral of x plus 8 divided by x squared plus 3x plus 2 with respect to x this is the technique appropriate here is integration by parts so we have this is the same as the integral of x plus 8 divided by when you factorize the denominator you have x plus 1 times x plus 2 with respect to x now we can resolve that fraction into partial fractions and there we go this is same as a over x plus 1 plus b over x plus 2 and that simply means x plus 8 is the same as a times x plus 2 plus b times x plus 1 now if you put puts in x equals minus 1 if you put x equals minus 1 a will be equal to 7 and if you put Put in x equals minus 2 in, in that identity. Put in x equals minus 2. Uh, b will be b will be equal to minus 6. So what that simply means is that x plus 8 divided by x squared plus 3x. Or if you like, let me write it. X plus 1 times x plus 2 is the same as 7 over x plus 1 minus 6 over x plus 2 and therefore x plus 8 divided by x squared plus 3x plus 2 with respect to x is the same as the integral of 7 over x plus 1 minus 6 over x plus 2 all with respect to x and that's the same as 7 lean x plus 1 minus 6 lean x plus 2 plus c now let's see can we take another one evaluate the integral of x cubed lean x dx here what are we taking as u we cannot uh we cannot find the integral of lean x but we can find the integral of x cubed then i'm going to make lean x u since i can find its derivative and this dv so i will say that's uv which is lean x multiplied by v which is a derivative which is integral of x cubed and that will be x is power 4 over 4 yeah minus the integral of v which is x is power 4 over 4 multiplied by the derivative of u v du and that multiplied by 1 over x dx du is one over x dx and this simply means x is power 4 over 4 lean x minus 1 over 4 multiplied by the integral of x is power 4 divided by x is x is power 3 dx multiplied by the integral of x is power I want to write that multiplied by the integral of x is power 3 
dx and that simply means x is power 4 over 4 lean x minus 1 over 4 times x is power 4 over 4 plus c which is finally x is power 4 over 4 lean x minus x is power 4 over 16 x is power 4 over 16 plus c can we take another let's see what i go up would that be okay have i taken that uh okay all right let's take let's take a final one evaluate the integral of e raised to the power 2x cos 2x dx here i'm gonna make cos 2x u and e raised to the power 2x dx dv so when i integrate i have uv which is cos 2x multiplied by the integral of e raised to the power v which is the integral of e raised to the power 2x and that is part 2x over 2 minus the integral of v which is e raised to the power 2x over 2 du which is minus 2 sine 2x dx and that is same as 1 over 2 e raised to the power 2x cos 2x minus no 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 that's plus the integral of e raised to the power 2x sine 2x dx and that's the same as we have another integration by part here so i'm going to call this u and this as u u and this dv and then we have 1 over 2 e raised to power 2x cos 2x plus sine 2x multiplied by e raised to the power 2x over 2 minus the integral of v which is e raised to the power 2x over 2 du which is 2 cos 2x dx 2 cos 2x dx and then the bracket and we go to the next line that's going to be 1 over 2 e raised to the power 2x cos 2x plus 1 over 2 e raised to the power 2x sine 2x minus minus the integral of e raised to the power 2x cos 2x dx and we can see that Uh, this is the same as the term on the left hand side so then we can say the integral we can bring we can bring this to the left hand side to have the integral of e raised to power 2x cos 2x dx plus the integral of e raised to power 2x cos 2x dx equals 1 over 2 e raised to the power 2x cos 2x plus 1 over 2 e raised to the power 2x sine 2x sine 2x and that means 2 multiplied by the integral of e raised to the power 2x cos 2x dx is equal to 1 over 2 e raised to the power 2x that's actually common to these two terms on the right hand side so we can write them this way cos 2x plus e raised to the power 2x sine 2x and therefore the integral of e raised to the power 2x cos 2x 
base power 2x cos 2x dx is the same as 1 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 2 e raised power 2x times cos 2x plus e raised power what did, I, what, did I write, what did I write here? When I factored 1 over 2 raised power 2x out of that, I should have been left with cos 2x sine. That's it. You have to be very, very careful so as not to make, make mistakes. Okay, I think it's still correct. Yeah, I think it's correct now. That's the same as cos 2x sine 2x plus c. Plus c. And that's finally 1 over 4. 1 over 4 e raised power 2x multiplied by cos 2x plus sine 2x plus c. And that's it finally. If you are careful enough, you're not going to make mistakes and you get the correct answer. And that's it very, very simply. All right. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to this channel if you have not already done so. So as to and, and hit and click the click on the bell to get notifications every time, to be notified every time a new video is uploaded. Thank you very much.